If you like gaming and you like me, then you'll love my new gaming streams on Twitch. Yeah, I will go get him. <laughs> <laughs> Let him think about what no, he's done. I mean, no, like, no, <laughs> Let him, no, 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 it's fine, Bob. It's fine. It's all right. No, 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 no. I get it. All right, Cliff, take off for uh, one zero left, left close traffic for uh, nine zero Limadella. How cool is that? Join the phone and follow me on Twitch at ludix 90 and also subscribe to my gaming YouTube channel. The links you need are in the description. Welcome to Ludix Aviation, the home of fun-filled aviation videos. I invite you to like, subscribe, and enjoy the flight as I welcome you to the sky. Ludix Aviation videos are edited to be as entertaining as possible. This may remove context. Many procedures, situations, explanations, and flight phases have been edited out. Do not use for instructional purposes. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, rotation? 55. BY? 73. Uh, altitude for making the turn? 700. Initial level off. 1300. Uh, the steep burns. What altitude do you want to do? Um, I know the minimum altitude's only 1500. Yep. 1000. 2000. Cool. Sounds good. Orlando Executive Ground, 734 Mike Golf, run of complete. Doug, 4 Mike Golf, taxi to runway 7 at Alpha 7 via Golf Alpha. Have a good flight. Taxi to runway 7, Alpha 7 via Golf Alpha, 734 Mike Golf. Orlando Executive Tower, 734 Mike Golf, holding short of runway 7 at Alpha 7, ready for departure. Skag 734 Mike Golf, Executive Tower, left turn northwest down approved runway 7 at Alpha 7, cleared for takeoff. Traffic over the departure and it'll be in the left hand pattern. So you can see Ella's progressed quite significantly in a short time in flight training. She's now getting us from the ramp to the run up to the runway and welcoming us to the sky all on her own. Welcome to, to the, the sky. sky and her instructor is so smug about it. So today we're turning up the difficulty level a little bit and doing steep turns. Left turn towards the northwest. It does feel really smooth up it's here. It's beautiful. We have the traffic in sight, runway seven approved. Set that, that nose. That, set that nose down. If that nose is still high, that's not what we want. It's still climbing. That's because of the nose, there you go, drop that nose, drop it down, drop it down. there yeah. you go, get that horizon kind of looking like that, that's better. Now you saw us have a bit of trouble with the level off, before reducing power we should always lower the nose to the horizon and let the aircraft accelerate before anything. Sometimes though, new students forget that, pulling the power with angle of attack raised is a recipe for a stall. Today I'm going to fix this for Ella and you'll see what a difference it makes to something completely different, like steep turns. Cool, how's your trip? <laughs> Hold it yeah, too much. Mike, golf, remain outside of class, airspace, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, 734 Mike Golf. So, that one's for a popka? That is. Okay. While you're climbing on this one, watch that ball. Make sure you keep that ball in the center. And full power for the climb. <laughs> we'll be here for days, right? <laughs> 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 Just passing Down. Tampa, there's 2000, <laughs> got it. I like it, you're not climbing at VY, you don't have to out here. Better cooling for the engine to have a higher airspeed. The ball's in the centre, looking beautiful. Now for the level off, I want you to get into the habit of pushing the nose over first and then pulling the power. Okay. If we pull the power at a high angle of attack, what are we risking? Darling. Darling, exactly. We don't want to do that. Okay, so nose first then power. Nose first, let it accelerate a little bit and then Pull the power to your power setting and re-trim. Perfect. During training, we learned that pitch is for airspeed and power is for altitude. I've noticed that new students sometimes focus on one of those things rather than both. You can set your altitude, but if the pitch is not where it needs to be, then just like my test in secondary school, it won't yield good results. It's these fundamentals that we need to address in order to be a better pilot. Unfortunately, I've flown with certificated pilots in the past that have struggled with these fundamentals, surprisingly, and I won't allow Ella to do the same. And you're gonna see what a difference it makes to her steep turns. So let's get to those, shall we? I think yesterday, because it was the first time you did them, I think you were actually quite slow to get that bank angle. If you want to get that bank angle a little bit quicker, or try and get it a little bit quicker, uh, that might help you out and set that sight picture and get that nose back up, use the trim if you need, add a bit of power. 
We'll see. I noticed that, yeah. Like, it was like a quarter in is when you really started to feel like Yeah, exactly. All right, so here we go into steep turn number one, and Ella's banking into it and slightly increasing the power. She set her nose at a point on the horizon, which is what I'm looking at right there, to make sure it's not moving. And it's not. It's a very stable, steep turn. Albeit with a very small climb rate, which we'll need to fix. And fix it, she does. And it ends up being one of the best steep turns Ella has ever done. Congratulations. Now you're ready for one of the worst. Here we go into the second steep turn and already the nose is rising, which is an immediate indicator that something isn't right. I think I need to nose down a little more. Good. When the nose rises, the airspeed falls, which is what is about to make this steep turn turn into a stall. That one does not feel... Even though it's my student that got us into this predicament, it's my student that has the ability to get us out of it. Hear the stall warning? Stall warning. Well done. Well done for coming out of that. Well done for coming out of that and, and pushing the nose down. Well done. Yeah, the airspeed dropped off uh, quite a lot. So reset. The one to the left was perfect. Well done for coming out of that. Seriously. It was actually really quiet. I it, almost did. I was exactly. like, is that on the radio? It was like a whisper. But you did exactly the right thing coming out of that steep turn. So uh, following on from yesterday, what happens to stall speed in a turn? It increases. It increases. You're in, a, you're in a bank, so the stall speed is increased. But uh, you... you, you came out of the bank and you pushed the nose down to to stop that stall warning. I'm, honestly, like... I was just like, it's not like, just, I don't know. Felt different, right? It felt really different, yeah. yeah. It, it almost like wasn't clicking. Yeah. But like what, it was on the... But what has clicked is how to get out of a stall situation and that is really important. That is really important. Well done, honestly. Well done for that. There's one for current and future instructors out there. Your students are going to mess up. It's a fact. They're going to do things that they know is wrong, and it's up to you to give them the tools to fix it. The training we've done up to this point and the studying Ella's been doing afforded her the knowledge to get out of that situation. And notice how I didn't berate her for doing something wrong and gave her time to fix it. That is what being an instructor is all about, in my opinion. But we need to fix that and make sure it doesn't happen again. And I think it goes back to focusing on one thing and not the other. In this case, we forgot to take care of the pitch, which is becoming a theme of this video. There we go. See, that nose is too high. Look at that horizon. There you go. Get that nose down. Perfect. I get that 45 degree bank angle, and as you roll it in just like that, give yourself some right rudder as well. A little bit more bank, there Stop you right go. There. That's better, so that's stabilised right there. Do you look at that airspeed, it's not moving. It's going down now, so you could just maybe add a little bit of back pressure. Keep at the bank angle a little bit. Yeah, not bad, that's better. That's better. Give, uh, give one to the left a go, and then straight into one to the right. Okay. Lake Apopka Lake practice area, Warrior 280 Bravo Golf. About two miles losing altitude. to the south losing west altitude. of the lake. The only uh, thing, southbound, just back pressure. Three thousand feet. Back that pressure. On that yeah, one? the horizon wasn't where it needed to be for that one. So back to two thousand. Do it again. <laughs> That's what we want to feel. You want to feel yourself being put into that seat. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's a steep turn. Reduce some of the bank angle. And keep that back pressure, keep that back pressure. There's a hundred feet right there. Clear right. So as you're rolling in just a little bit, that's maybe a bit too much. That's so a little bit more bank. Miles the West Lake, Ashby, and as you do that then you can pull back. Seven eight, Juliet, there you go, North put me North in my seat, seat. put me in my seat. Feet, 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 that's what we want to feel. Practice area. Oh, it's a little bit high now. Rolling around. Uh, within a hundred feet. The two thousand. There you go. Oh, yeah, force this thing. I don't know. Something about the right. It almost feels like more natural to go left. Yeah, that's honestly that's what I've I've seen from people before. Don't forget, you can use the trim as well if you want. Ooh, little point of contention there, because some people don't like using trim in steep turns, and some do. 
I'm one of the ones that does prefer to use trim in steep turns, but what about you? Let me know in the comments. Starting with the bank. Of it about. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, there you go. A little bit more back pressure, I'd say. Yes. Yes. Just check that bank angle a little bit less. Keep the back pressure a little bit less bank angle. There you go. Perfect. Trying to keep it between those two lines. Right in the middle. There you go. And in the rollout, keep that nose up because we are 100 feet low. We don't want to go more than 100 feet. Restabilize. Cool. That's what we want, that's a perfect banker, keep that nose, keep that nose, keep that nose. Oh, I saw that drop in. That's what, well, yeah, it's because you, you want more back pressure, though, to keep that up. Yeah, it's just a case of keeping that nose, that's it. Just keeping that nose held back. Let's do one more set. Okay. And I want you to use trim. I want you to use trim while you do it. So while you, when you're rolling into it, give yourself maybe like two, two and a half rolls of trim, nose up. Okay. And it might help you with that, keeping the nose, uh, the nose up, and also give yourself a bump of power when you're going into it as well. And we'll see if that makes uh, any difference. Oh, to I you. feel like okay. I'm better without this. <laughs> but it is hard fighting the controls. It I'm, is. I'm going to be completely. Yep. So as you're rolling in, bank it over, a little bump of power. There you go. So now pull back, add some trim. The trim. Pull back while you're doing it. Pull back, you pull back, you pull back. There you go. Is that easier? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of clicked the pulling. Right. Like the pulling. Yep. Oh my gosh, it went a lot faster too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a lot more stable. We're at the same airspeed. Give me one to the right now. Back to check that nose though. Where, where's that horizon? There you go. So all the trim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. But look at look at the speed now. Why is the speed so low? Our powers. Powers back. So because the only way that you can maintain altitude there is by holding the nose up. So you're bleeding off the speed. So you need that power setting first. I think there's a little bit of confusion with... So we were doing pitch for airspeed power for altitude, right? Which I think is what you're trying to do. You're seeing the altitude not where you need it and you're adjusting the power to, to do that. Well, that that's that's good, but we're not in a slow flight scenario at the moment. We're in like a basically a cruise scenario. It might be where the nose is. Like I can tell the nose is a little bit high, which is what he's giving us this. So if you push the nose down and retrim to keep the nose down. So do that, push the nose down a little bit, retrim. Boom, your climb rate's gone immediately. So you set a power setting and you trim for that power setting. I think that's that's where a little bit of confusion is, is coming in. So like right now... To put the nose down, yeah, trim it down, exactly, it the Exactly, exactly. Yep, I think that's where a little bit of confusion is coming in. It's kind of where the nose is set. Like right now you've kind of set the nose down. You can kind of... Yeah, there you go. Just adjust for it. Looking outside is your best friend. So you, yeah, that I horizon is, the, is the best door. indicator of what's going on. So swing goes back to the south. So looking at that horizon, that horizon is, has gone away and you see a massive climb rate, 500 feet per minute. Yeah. Too aggressive with the with the pullback. I think, I, I don't know, you, you you tell me, in your head is it, you're kind of thinking, okay, I'm banking so I have to pull back like this. Kind of, yeah, yeah no, that was definitely, it, it. like, it'll correct it faster. If, right, you know okay. know what I mean, if you're adjusting that. That makes sense. Just kind of getting a view of that horizon is going to be the best friend in that scenario and you can also hear what the the plane's doing because you can hear when we're starting to slow down like when the airspeed is bleeding off you hear a change in in the way things are right like if you hear a change you know something's not quite right or something's different that you need to change and i want you to keep this power setting keep this power setting right here and retrim keep altitude just with the pitch and the trim out there Stay hand off that for a second. Just, just use your, use your, your uh, 
Yeah, yeah pitch. Because you like, like, we're basically cruising at the moment. Okay, while we're, doing we're, it, we're, doing we're basically cruising at the moment. So you've set a power setting, and you trim for that power setting to maintain, and then it's just little adjustments with this forward and backwards to, to maintain. So you see how the horizon is a perfect still picture at the moment. It's not moving. That's what we want to see. Now, let's say you look down here and you see a slight climb rate. Just pitch down just a little bit, just to get it back. There you go, it's zero. That horizon's back where it was. You're still at 2,000 feet. Now, add a turn into this, so make a turn to the right, we'll clear right. So instead of, see that's too far pulled back, see that horizon gone way too far up. That's caused the, the climb rate immediately. Oh wow, yeah. So can I just look at that? Now that's maybe a little bit too low. It's just a little pullback, that's it. Level the wings. Keep us at 2,000 feet just by pitching. So that pitch is going up, that horizon, uh, the distance has got smaller, now it's back to where it was. And lo and behold, the girl's got it. That's better. Simulator On westbound, let's do another set of steep turns. The e how we go. Okay. Just as we're rolling into this steep turn, this is another one for the instructors out there. Patience. If a student needs work on something, don't get frustrated. Embrace the opportunity to make your mark on them. It's so cool to see Ella make the changes and knowing that we did it together is sick. Credit to Ella too, because she's been receptive to the help and strives to be the best, which is all you can ask for in a student. A little bit more back pressure. Relieve some of the bank angle. Keep it at 45 degrees. There you go. We're still below VA. We're fine. That's better. That's better. That's what we want. Perfect. Good. Clear on the right. Let's do one to the right. Stabilize. And then go. As you're rolling in, set the back pressure. Perfect. A little bit of right rudder. That's going to cause you to have to use more back pressure. And that's actually yes. About three to the south yes, east that east horizon. 2,500 feet. Unusual. Like a still image. Yes, 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 perfect. A little early on the route. A little bit early. I don't care about that. That's a beautiful steep turn. Nice. That one felt better. That was a hell of a lot better. A lot, like, just steadier, I feel like. Yes, yes. Great work, great work. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it entertaining and if you did, please consider leaving it a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And speaking of entertainment, if you're into this sort of thing, you can find me live streaming on Twitch. It's my gaming channel, I've been streaming different things like Fortnite and even on my flight simulator, got a brand new setup. So if that sounds good, you can find me Ludix90 on Twitch, I'd appreciate the follow. For now though, I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.